<clears throat> All right, we'll go to number six. This is from McBoo Blitzman, who says, What is your opinion on Christian YouTuber Steven Crowder? A lot of his content, while in the name of comedy and free speech, is quite vulgar and feels insensitive. Is his method biblical? Um, <clears throat> this might be a surprise to some of you guys, but I don't watch Steven Crowder. Uh, I, I think I've watched a couple of his videos over time, and I don't have the knowledge about his stuff to make to make an opinion, to like tell you all what I think about him in a way that wouldn't just be kind of like guessing and gossipy. So I'm just going to not talk about that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pass that question because I don't, I don't have a strong answer for you. Um, he's a Christian. That's great. Didn't even know that. Um, I'm, that's fantastic. If, um, if his stuff is vulgar and insensitive, as you say, um, then that would mean that it would need, it, it's, it, you'd have to chew up the you know, meat and spit out the bones <laughs> with it. And you wouldn't want to copy things that you think are unbiblical there, but I don't have a comment as far as what I, my judgment upon his content. Yeah. Sorry about that, that I don't have more to say. <clears throat> um, when it comes to telling you what to think about somebody else's teaching, somebody else's videos, somebody else's, uh, ministry or, or contribution to public media, that kind of thing. I want to be a little careful that I don't speak too quickly and especially condemn too quickly because it's very easy to do that. And it's a good way to make a bunch of viral videos, right? Like I just condemn everybody. When I do come out and say something about a person, it's because I've done research and spent time on it. So I won't be saying anything about that. 